Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to review Murder at Spindle Manor by Morgan Stein. For Huntress Isabeau Argawal, the Countryside Inn is the final stop on a deadly hunt. Armed with gas lamp and guns, she traces an insidious beast that wears the skin of its victims, mimicking them perfectly. Ten guests reside within Spindle Manor, and the beast could be any one of them. Confined by a torrential thunderstorm and running out of time, Isabeau must find out who the liar is by morning, or none of them will be getting out alive, including her. So I read this as a finalist for the SBFBO round nine. Look, any book that offers murder within its opening sentence has my attention. So we meet Isabeau Argawal. She is a competent huntress. She knows what needs to be done and she knows that she has the skills to do it. This isn't arrogance, this is just the knowledge that she is capable. She is very methodical and can take control of a highly stressful situation. However, there is a bit of distance between her and others, including the reader. I found that by the end of this, I don't really know her. Evelyn, or Evie, is Isabeau's coachwoman. She is bright and bubbly and quickly gets along with the guests. Her and Isabeau have a really interesting relationship through this book, and I did really enjoy seeing how that played out. There are a lot of characters packed into an under 300 page novel, so we also have the 10 guests, plus the owner, and let's not forget Penny, who really keeps everything running. The guests I felt weren't that distinct from each other, there were a few standout ones, but Penny, despite not being able to talk, stole every scene that she was in. But there is a lot of information given to the reader at the start, um, from the layout of Spindle Manor to all the guests, who there are and what they are wearing. There are a lot of visual details pointed out, plus once the plot gets kicked off, there are interviews with each of the characters, so it is a lot of information. As a result, I did feel the pacing felt as though it was running away from you slightly. There is so much happening all the time, although there are a few moments here and there where the characters can catch their breaths a bit. The location does keep it smaller and more manageable. There is magic in this world and it is woven in it in a way that makes it feel naturally part of the environment. From spirits that take travellers in the darkness unawares, to mesmerism, mediums and living dolls. There is a little bit of meandering and monologuing as Isabeau manages to start fitting together the clues. And this is the part that really didn't work that well for me because we'd had so much happening and it felt like it had been pulled to a complete stop. Once again there is a lot of information presented all at once in quite a dry fashion to the reader. So while I do wish that we could have spent more time getting to know the characters, overall I found it a fairly quick and engaging read. It just didn't, as a whole, work for me. I gave this one a 6.5 out of 10 for SVFBO. So if you have read this, I would love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon.